Well, welcome everybody. Thanks so much for being part of our prayer time today. We're doing something a little different today. Um, we're bringing you into our men's prayer this morning. So thankful for many guys that pray every morning on Wednesday mornings at 6.30 to 7. And these guys are just faithful and just interceding for the needs in our church and love these guys and some of the other guys that aren't on the call today. But you can just join us as we pray. Today's theme is God's rest. So Angel's going to read Psalms 91. And uh, we're just going to kind of take in Psalms 91 and just commit this to our hearts in prayer this morning as we seek the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Psalms 91. You who live in the shelter of Elion, who spend your nights in the shadow of Shaddai, who say to Adonai, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust, he will rescue you from the trap of the hunter and from the plague of calamities. He will, will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His truth is a shield and protection. You will not fear the terrors of night or the arrow that flies by day or the plague that roams in the darkness or the scourge that wreaks havoc at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it won't come near you. Only keep your eyes open and you will see how the wicked are punished. For you have made Adonai the most high who is my refuge, your dwelling place. No disaster will happen to you. No calamity will come near your tent, for he will order his angels to care for you and guard you wherever you go. They will carry you in their hands so that you won't trip on a stone. You will tread down lions and snakes, young lions and serpents you will trample underfoot. Because he loves me, I will rescue him. Because he knows my name, I will protect him. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him when he is in trouble. I will extricate him and bring him honor. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation. Go ahead, Gerald, you wanna lead us? Sure. Just thank you, Lord God, for uh, just being with us here this morning. Thank you for the way you're leading and guiding in our lives. And just thank you for the words of comfort from uh, your, your, uh, your word from Psalm 91. Just thank you, Lord, that uh, you are with us. You are here to provide us refuge and a fortress from all the stuff that goes around us, uh, that goes on around us, from uh, sickness, from uh, danger, from uh, just, uh, uh, just tiredness of living that you are with us and you give us hope and you give us uh, uh, grace you give us strength uh, to continue to follow you and to serve you just thank you lord that uh, it is your truth that is our shield and our rampart and uh, that we can uh, just trust in you in your greatness and your mercy and that um, you will be around us and protecting us Lord, I just pray for uh, some of us that uh, are uh, under uh, a lot of uh, attack or, or just under the uh, uh, oppression of, of uh, darkness and in, in these days, I pray, Lord, that you give us light, give us hope. I pray, Lord, that uh, depression would not set in or, or overtake us, but we would uh, believe in you, trust in you, that uh, you are our God. And you are the one that will save us and lead us. Thank you, thank you for uh, your greatness. Thank you for your power. And thank you for uh, calling us just to, to serve you, to follow you. And, and, and just thank you for your, your love for each one of us. Just bless us today as we uh, look to you. And bless us as we uh, uh, experience just the, the new life and abundant life in Jesus Christ today. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you are with us. We thank you that, that you are with uh, Rob uh, this morning as he, um, as he seeks you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We ask you to touch Mary. Lord, we ask you to touch her and bring complete healing to her body. 
We ask that you bless her lungs, Lord, that you heal her ribs. Lord, we ask a complete healing and, and your touch upon her, Lord. Please bring your Holy Spirit upon her today, Lord, as she's in the hospital. Father, I pray also for Chris, Lord, Rob's mom. Please, um, please touch her and bring healing to her body. Father, we pray that you that you totally heal her now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God. Lord, we give you praise and glory this morning. We trust in you, Lord God. We declare that, uh, that you are with us, Father, that, uh, that you are near to each one of us at Abundant Life, Lord. All who call upon your name, Lord God, and, and trust in you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your redemption and for moving in our lives this morning, Father God. We trust in you, Father. Father, there's a lot going on in our lives. And um, many who might be joining us today, Lord, might feel overwhelmed. But I, I thank you that you give us rest, Lord, and you keep us in the shelter of the Most High, uh, Lord, and that we can find rest in you. Um, so just give us that emotional rest that we need and that physical rest, Father, um, that we need as we just wait on you, as we just make you um, our most high. Lord, I thank you that you love us. And I thank you that you promise to protect us and watch over us, Lord. And if that's the case, then help us to trust you. Lord, we, we all pray right now that... Uh, agree that you would just give the most favorable outcome for Mary right now. And we just believe for it to not be serious um, because you are good. And um, so just give Mary the rest that she needs and give Rob the rest that he needs right now. And Lord, I pray for, um, for Joe McDevitt. I continue to pray that he would heal and you would just continue to be with him and uh, pray for, uh, Ellen Livinghouse also who needs a touch from you to just keep some of these people in, in before you your throne God and ask for a prayer father and for many people who are just overwhelmed with things in life right now I just pray that they would be able to experience um, what it says in Matthew 11 that we'd come to you when we are burdened and heavy and you would give us rest Lord so give us your rest today we ask Lord God, I thank you for this morning that we can draw into your rest, Father God, into your shelter. For Psalm 91 has been read by a lot of soldiers and people in rough patches for a lot of years, Father God. It's a, it's a piece that, of scripture that has been turned to when people feel like things are falling apart on their left and right. And sometimes, Father, as I as folks are in the middle of a pandemic and in the middle of a grind, things sometimes feel like they're falling apart. But Lord God, it's your shelter and you're there. And Father, if we rest in you, Lord God, we have peace. Lord, I, I pray this morning for the emergency room docs and a couple of hospitals who did a great job with my family, um, Father God, but but really came to my attention because they're doing a job that sometimes we don't think about, we don't remember, but Lord God, they're doing a hard job. That's a hard time. I pray for this. I pray this morning for your peace, for those folks, for your strength for them as they work through this pandemic and just the day-to-day -day crashes and accidents and things that happen. Give them wisdom. Thank you for the blessing they were in, in my family's life, my life this week. Um, Lord God, I pray for your peace, for our community, for our nation, Father God. Help us to set down our swords and set down our keyboards and listen. Thank you for this morning, Father God, for your grace and rest for our lives. In your name. Yeah. Lord, we just receive all this and we just are thankful for it. And um, just trust in you again. We just declare our trust, Lord. Part of receiving this rest is choosing to trust you. So we choose to trust you today and say that you are good. 
And so we love you and we declare our love to you publicly. Jesus, you are king in our life and our savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining us for this short time of prayer, being part coming into our time of prayer and just keep praying uh, as we just continue this week um, in prayer. Be safe tomorrow if we get any snow and uh, know that we love you guys. Amen.